Okay, welcome everyone. Welcome to Stock Bears Reality Show. Today is Monday Stock Talk. We're going to talk about mutual funds. The amazing mutual funds and why you should never, ever invest in mutual funds. So let's get on with the show. So Max, what's a mutual fund? All right. Well, a mutual fund is pretty easy to explain. It's just a uh, compilation of stocks built in t- into a fund which is managed by someone specifically. So it can be your bank, your broker, or uh, someone that you uh, has is certified to an- actually manage your portfolio or your m- mutual fund. Yeah, so you're basically buying like the, the expertise of someone so that they can make money off of your money. Yeah, exactly. And he, well, you make money by trusting that person with your investment and uh, his ability to uh, create capital gains with your money invested in the um, stock market. So it all comes down to the reputation of that person. If he's trusted, his ability to make constant profits and you know his ex- experience in the domain. Yeah, well, it's not always like a person's usually a firm as well. So there's many big firms like yeah, that's true. McKinsey, um, Fidelity, mm-hmm. um, Vanguard, okay. all of big firms that just do mutual funds, ETF, all sorts of things. Okay, so why shouldn't people invest in mutual funds? Well, it's an obvious question, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, mutual funds are really, they're for the average person, I find. They were for the person that they want to buy and just not look at it for another 20, 30 years mm-hmm. and maybe look at it a few times, maybe get a letter in the mail telling them they made two, three percent, mm-hmm. if they're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's for people that don't want to like uh, use, well, to use or invest too much time into thinking about the safety of their money or is it secure? Because a mutual fund essentially is very secure and uh, low risk because right. the there's constantly people managing your, your uh, well, normally it's experts who manage your money so they definitely know what they're doing and you know that lowers the risk of your uh, money uh, depreciating and in, in, uh, in value over time but uh, like i said like people managing your um and it's very di- diversified so that lowers the risk so people don't need to think about it like you mentioned so it's a yeah. big advantage of it's stress-free pretty much and uh, yeah all of this expertise if you can call it expertise, <laughs> it comes to like a big cost. So as you can see on the screen right now, those are all the costs that are incurred when you buy mutual funds. So there's like some very cheap mutual funds go for like 0.5%, but the normal mutual fund goes to like 2% fees per year, mm-hmm. which is a lot. Mm-hmm. If you consider inflation, there's already incurring mm-hmm. and the fees is already 4%. Mm-hmm. So money you're gonna make is probably nothing. Yeah, that is true. Like if you're talking about like uh, if you're expecting like uh, the the fairy tale that's t- telling you that uh, every year you're, you're uh, expecting at least ten percent return, yeah. uh, mutual fund not only will not will never get well. It's very rare that it will get a ten uh, percent yield per year, and uh, not only that you do you do have to in, uh, to take into account the the fees the inflation so it's it in my opinion it's definitely not the best investment it's just for yeah. people that you know don't want to risk anything mm-hmm. with the stock market or just uh, stocks in general when i was i think 10 years old my mom she brought me to see my broker and she wanted me to buy mutual funds so i bought them i think i put like 50 like 50 500 dollars in it and to a day today, I still have that fun, and it's maybe six hundred dollars now. It's been like ten years. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not even sure if it even grew, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's crazy to hear that. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. Just imagine if you would have put that five hundred dollars into like a Apple stock or anything like that, you would have literally doubled your money or, or even easily more, even, even more. more. Yeah. yeah. So it's. It depends on your risk tolerance pretty much but in general like yeah. investing into mutual funds it, it's good for a, a low portion of your portfolio a lower percentage i would i would say maybe 10 percent, just to 
have a like solid base even i would say maybe not five even. to ten percent not even it, I, w- it, I would definitely go for etf instead of mutual funds you could definitely but it's it's for people that new new people that do not um right. have any like good base basics in the uh the stock market or the uh you know investment um, portfolio management it's i think mutual funds it's a good approach for mm-hmm. the beginning it's just to understand why there is better opportunities out there mm-hmm. so if you want to start investing in the or just getting interested or just uh, having like good uh good good basics and stuff like that b- maybe getting into like a couple of mutual funds wouldn't be too bad of an idea but i wouldn't well, invest too much money the problem is that the mutual fund they want you to keep the money in the mutual fund for like x number of years mm-hmm. so let's say my mutual fund that i bought if i want to take the money out right now it costs me five percent five mm-hmm. percent of my whole fund yeah that's a lot of money yeah that's a lot of money plus that's all the profits gone yeah exactly so like we we're seeing here uh, apparently there's a um like the uh what's what's it called the backdoor like turnover turnover like sorry. if you want to sell that's like every year it might go down it depends on the fund it's very specific mm-hmm. it depends but ideally you want to get a mutual fund that uh their turnover uh, decreases with the charge decreases with the number of year that is invested. So, uh, the for example, if you make it, that's how you would get as much profits as you can over a long period of time. But obviously, the bank wants you to keep your money in there, or the the bro- broker whoever is managing your yeah. your money wants the money to be kept in there so they yeah. can you know use as much money to uh, profit themselves with fees and, and if you go see your broker and you ask them what you're gonna buy what you should buy they're obviously gonna tell you mutual funds mm-hmm. because that's where they make money exactly they, so they get their fees they get their money and they're gonna tell you it's the best investment you can do <laughs> which is yeah people are talking obvious. for their self-interest so it's it's understandable from their point of view that they would do that but you have to be mindful because uh as if you're thinking about your um interests it would be better to invest your money somewhere else definitely but mutual funds like um, like gab just mentioned it's the their own the only reason that you know you want to invest in uh in mutual funds for them is that they get a lot of fees and that benefits them in the long run pretty much so here we're looking at um the trends on google so we can see that um, stocks definitely the highest search for a long time. Um, ETF more in mutual funds and mutual funds just didn't get searched that much. So it just gives us your bit a pretty good idea of what you should do. Primarily invest in stocks, have some ETF and mutual fund probably not. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the the search pretty much indicates. Well, the mutual fund is uh, more like uh, it's. It's uh, like the publicity that comes from uh, mutual funds is from your bank, right? They will push forward the searches on Google or anything like that because people don't know what a mutual fund is. And, you know, uh, it's it's important to get informed, but not informed from the wrong people because people, like we mentioned before, will talk to you about mutual funds uh, from their point of view, how they see them, it's for, for their own interest. So obviously they will put, uh, well, they will t- say that the mutual funds are amazing and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. it's important to get informed and uh, have clarity pretty much yeah. over the the idea of mutual funds. So a quick little recap. Uh, we just wanted to mention that if you were gonna, if you wanna consider investing in mutual funds, it's very important to get informed and uh, the pros are pretty much, you get a lot of diversification. There's low risk. Um, there's obviously high demand from, for uh, mutual funds, so it's easy to sell. Um, if you're a passive investor and uh, you want to invest and forget it, uh, that's definitely the investment for you. But don't forget, you need to consider um, ETFs, which are a more viable option. Um, so, and uh, lastly, um, you need to make sure that you're um, looking at who you're uh, giving your money to. So make sure that person has, or the bank has a good reputation for managing funds, a good yield, percentage yields, and the uh, less fees as possible. You know, so just to recap the cons. So it's pretty much the fees and the turnover fees. 
it's always the fees just a lot of fees so be mindful of that when you consider buying a mutual fund thank you for watching and we'll see you on next monday